Hi folks, it's Brandon. Welcome back to Moody Booty. Today we are going to try some caviar. This is the thing. Bill, the Bill and Constantine. And Bill, can you explain that to us uh, what the thing is first? <laughs> Show, show us what this is. This is a very high tech. Uh, uh, this is a high tech anyway, caviar opener. It's got a symbol on it. Is it Brunei? It's from the Caviar House in Bangkok. Oh, okay. This was a high tech uh, caviar tin opener developed by the scientists at MIT. And the gentleman who, who developed this won a Nobel Prize in caviar opening. Oh my God, you can win a Nobel okay. Prize about caviar. Yes, so definitely there's Nobel Prizes handed out. Every three months on caviar. Any teachers on school, they subscribe to the Put it on pause. Yeah. You gotta figure out how to open this up. Can you do it? Easy thing. Well, you do it. I've never used this thing before. Show us the Nobel Peace Prize caviar opener. I can fix a car with this, but actually, you know what? The thing might work. The thing doesn't work. We're gonna use a spoon if the thing doesn't work, right? I take, I take. He laughed. Right. But what I learned today was that, you know, if Bill gives you caviar, you can only keep it for a month, otherwise it tastes really bad. But before it tasted bad, it tasted really, really good. And can you tell us where this caviar is from? This caviar. The reason why the caviar doesn't no, last no, a long time. No, this caviar is from Hawaii. This is from a surgeon farm uh, in Hawaii, which is six years old. Can you tell us? About your farm this is from the Thai Sturgeon Farm in Hilly Um The farm was started seven years ago by Alex. Alex the Russian. Uh, yeah, how do you pass this? And Bill the American. And um, we're doing closed system, which means there's uh, no vi environmental impact on uh, um, on the environment. Uh, indoors, solar powered, about 20%. It's think, solar power. Yes. How many kilowatts do you know? Boy, it's about 20% of our total electricity usage. Uh, I'm not sure how many kilowatts. It's a lot. Okay. And, and for those of you who don't know a lot about caviar, it's from the fish called? It's a cross between, it's a hybrid, a cross between the Russian beluga sturgeon, beluga. which is one of the species of sturgeon in Russia, and the Chinese kaluga sturgeon. Kaluga. Huso, huso. Is Kaluga, <laughs> and I forgot the scientific name for uh, the Kaluga. And so we're breeding the two, and we're buying the fry from the largest sturgeon farm in China called Kaluga Queen. So we buy the fry, which are small fish, put them into the system, which as I said, closed. Uh, we chill the room down to bring the temperatures of the tanks down to 20 degrees centigrade. Sturgeon will grow fine below 25 degrees centigrade. Above 25 degrees. Minus 25? No, no, plus. Oh, plus. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Um, above 25 degrees, the sturgeon perish. They can't survive in water that warm. But at 20, they do all right. And they actually grow fast. So where it might take mm -hmm. sturgeon 12, 15 years in the wild to reach uh, maturity, we, we got our fish to start reaching maturity in about six years. We did our first milking of the caviar in November. Milking means that you don't need to kill the fish to don't get kill the fish. Eggs. So you get caviar from healthy fish, sturgeon fish, and you, mm -hmm. you take the, the eggs out, which is the caviar, and then the fish is safe and treated humanely. Right? Yeah, the fish are pretty in happy. Wahin, happy dinosaur looking it's fish, caviar, and they right? go back in the water and they make more it's eggs. And then mm -hmm. this this one is a Russian caviar. This is not Bill's, this is from, not from Boyin. This, this one is from Boyin. It's very yummy, but only one month. But it looks really good. One month. So, okay. So, Dad Herman, you're gonna try the the Russian caviar. Sure. Uh, Constantine, you try the, the Russian caviar. Maybe it's a uh, it's a Soretta. Do you have a a magnifying glass? Because the writing is very yeah. small. No, is it what kind of caviar? Is it? It's my low salt. No, that means low salt. Oh, okay. uh, is it Saruga? It's an Astrakhan Augustovskaya five. Okay, Astrakhan is Cassian C. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not a, a Latin name either. Okay, Constantine, the Four brave. Stock, complex. Uh, you're Russian. tasting the, the Russian caviar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know what species. Okay, go ahead. I don't know what species Tell it is. How it is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it. You have to, mmm, delicious. No, it doesn't look like caviar. It looks like, like, like a lumpfish rub. It's, it doesn't no, look like caviar. No, no, no. Okay. 
This doesn't have a species name on it. This is from my It reminds me of my German cat. Yeah, it's like a German caviar, which is not sturgeon. No, I like this more than this from Are you serious? No, sorry, because I kept Bill's caviar for too long. No, I ate it yesterday. Oh, okay. You like it better than Bill's? Make it down, taste that. <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Doesn't have much taste at all. Do you want to try the astronaut <laughs> food, the Russian astronaut <laughs> food? Like salmon? It's not really scared. It's really old. I don't want it. It's really old. Don't eat it. Okay. So, yeah. so yeah, Bill, can you... Can, you can't even you eat this in caviar. Well, you're supposed to be able to go like this, but the eggs are not... Uh, they're very, very runny. Is actually quite good, but I, um, um, I have no idea what fish that came from. Okay, so that means that when you see the word caviar, it's not necessarily caviar. Um, it's supposed to be. Supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if it's I, not no, caviar from sturgeon, then it can. If it's be... called only caviar, it's supposed to be sturgeon caviar. Yeah. If it's called salmon caviar. It's not really. it's just uh, salmon. But caviar only. Yeah, but so what do they call what do they call the caviar in Germany? That's lumpfish, right? So lumpfish is not sturgeon. Oh, they call it Deutsche. Which is lumpfish. Okay, which is not sturgeon. Okay, so German caviar guys is not sturgeon. Fish it is lumpfish. Is that a tobacco? Tobacco is shrimp eggs. No, it's no, not fish. fish. Fine, 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 this is more like a tobacco. It looks like shrimp roll. It you know what it is? Yeah. This has got, this has got like, yeah, this has got chemicals in it. Oh. And it's, that's, it, why, that's it. why it's so crunchy and so mm -hmm. firm. I mean, it's like really crunchy, mm -hmm. but um, I mean, there's, there's there's no flavor whatsoever of the fish. You know, well. All right. So we learned something today. Tobiko is not weird. Shrimp. Weird. Fish weird. Bro. You want to taste it? Yeah, you. All right, well, thank you everybody for the caviar education today. And